our students participate in our food service each and every day. And then transportation, it's near 80%. And that's with the high school students, who the vast majority of high school students transport themselves. But we have near 80% participation. So as we look at these numbers and the consideration for um, contracting, we not only look at the bottom line, the bottom dollar of what is the profit and what is um, the savings, but we also look at what is important to us and what is the quality, what do they do things on a timely basis. Um, you know, you have transportation again being the one we realize that if you're doing apples to apples, we as a school district don't have to pay property tax to ourselves. Our buildings where we store those buses um, are without property tax. We, um, there are just a number of taxes that we don't have to pay taxes on our fuel. And so those savings then, that, that if that bus company comes to us, transportation company comes to us, and they're very close to what we're able to do. And as we've heard, the, the biggest place where they look at cutting those costs are in wages. You know that there is a significant, there has to be a significant cut in those wages in a differential between our staff and their staff. And we're very proud of our 80 some percent staff retention that we have all around on an average. We do very well in that too. So it's kind of like a yin and a yang. It's not only is it very hard to get into the school district, but the people who do get there stay there. And I think it's partly because they value what we value. And we want to make sure that people that are in our district are quality people that have the training that we provide. An example on the handout, I don't know if everyone got one, but an example was most recently in 2011 in February, um, we again asked someone, or someone asked for us to look at transportation and whether we should contract it out. And when you look at the statistics in DPI and you look at the Mississippi Valley, which is Holman and um, Sparta, Toma, and the two lacrosse schools, that we are actually Holman and um, Toma is the other school district in this area that owns their own transportation department. We are together spending about 37 cents a mile on transportation and they are paying, the other ones who are contracting out are paying 50 cents a mile. And that's by um, data collected um, by DPI. <laughs> and so it's all collected, it's all the same, the way that they collected all of the data is the same. And we, we start to think about, well, how can that be? And as you realize, and as you heard, once you go down that road and you contract out your transportation department, the first thing you're going to do is sell your buses. So now two years down the road, and we've seen this, and we've seen this in area schools where they're supposedly receiving million-dollar savings, and then it comes to the renewal of that contract, and there's an increase. Um, from the first year, we see significant, and we've studied other school districts that have shown that initially they get you by giving you a, and lowballing as much as they possibly can, and then after you've sold your school buses and you've <laughs> divested yourself of your transportation facilities and those sorts of things, and staff, I think was mentioned, then you're pretty much stuck, and you really don't have any options, and so the costs to you and the district start creeping up again. And then it is not cheaper in five or ten years to actually be doing that. But there is no way that you could possibly afford to purchase 30 new school buses. There's just no way that you could do it to get back. So I think a lot, you've seen a lot less of districts going down that road in recent year because of some of the studies that have been done. And of course school districts like to share information. Um, and I know recently that Middleton Cross Plains, Bloomington, and Black River Falls in our area have had studies done on transportation and have decided to stay with their own school district own um, services. So I just a little snippet about a school district perspective and why I think to me um, as a school district board member, I like to look at costs. I think it's important, but I also like to look at val value and the values of the community. So I, unless, like I said, something dramatically changes, I suspect it will continue on um, going down this road and continuing to provide the services with our own staff. So I think Jason is up now to talk about 